Hey everybody, welcome back. So if you went through the last tutorial of a few lessons, we were uh, making this screen, we were making the menu uh, button uh, slider pop in and out. And just to show you that I, I did in the last video, I was having a lot of apps running. So, but this is a lot smoother now, as you can see, and that's kind of what I wanted. We could play with the values of the speed and, and make it a little more smooth, uh, but I think that's fine for now. So I just want to show you guys, it was, my computer was kind of, you know, um, being sluggish last time. So that's why we we're having an issue with that. But now we're going to build this project and we're going to put it on a device. So I'm, I have an iPad here. I'm going to put it on. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, uh, feel free to, you know, uh, follow along this tutorial and see how that we can actually put that on device. So first thing you need to do, though, is if you haven't already, you need to get Xcode. Um, if you have it on your machine, great. If not, you'll need to log into the App Store and you'll need to get Xcode uh, for that. And I'm going to do this from scratch. So usually when I do this, I do this at work and we have a, a license to develop for a Mac. Um, but I don't have a personal license, so I'm going to be doing this, you know, kind of from scratch in a way. So you guys can, you know, check it out and see. Um, if this will work for you. Okay. So we're, so you need to go to Xcode. Um, you can go to, if you look at the top, it's, uh, iTunes, apple.com, uh, or you can just Google Xcode like I did and it will, should get you here. I'm going to view in the app store. I'm going to open the app store and then you need to sign in with your Apple ID. Um, so if you don't have that or forgotten that you can hit that, So this thing's going to take apparently 42 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back when it's finished, okay? Okay, everybody, so I finally got this thing downloaded. We're going to open it here. So um, you don't have to open Xcode. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and open it because I want to make sure that it would actually open um, for me here. We can always go to Launchpad, find it. It's right here. I'm going to agree to that. I'm going to put in my password. All right. It finally, it finally opened. Okay. So we, I, I know that I can open up Xcode now because that opens. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. And we are going to now, I'm just going to go ahead and close all of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to go ahead and build this out as an Xcode project. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go up, make sure you have a Unity project open, go up to File, and we're going to go open up this thing called Build Settings. And when under Build Settings, we want to just double check, make sure we're on iOS. We, we should have known by now, but you know you can always double check. Main thing you have to remember is, in, if you look right here, it says Scenes that are in the build. Well, there's nothing here, and we know we at least have one scene that we called Main that you can see right up here, right? So they got this button. You want to add open scenes. So that's going to add that scene. And that's the only one we have. You just want to make sure that's selected or when it builds, it won't build with the scene and nothing's going to run, right? So we've got that in there. We want to double check the iOS. And now we're going to go. Oh, well, another thing we can do, we can go to, let's go to player settings, actually. You want to open that up. And there's a lot of settings here that we can do. I'm not going to go through it in this video. Maybe in a later video I will. But we'll talk about your icons. The, 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 you see these places here? This is where you would want to put your icon. And, and I'll put a link in the description below in the website about um, where you can go to get these dimensions. And what we, we want to do is, you know, these are your icons for on your phone or your, um, or your tablet um, that, you know, the icon for the app itself, right? So this is where you would put that. Now, uh, you know, you, there's all the different dimensions. You have to make sure you abide by those dimensions. Um, so like right here, you'll see these launch images. Each one's got different, <clears throat> uh, you know, different size. And then if you go to Apple's website, um, they will show you what those sizes are. And you can just drop and drag those here. You know, we, we've already covered how to make images. So you make images, you would import them into your project. And then, you know, just drag them right over here. Uh, 
but we'll, I'll, I'll try to either find a video or make one that shows that. All right, so back to other parts of our settings here. Um, you've got your icon here that you can put in. You can override for iOS. Um, resolution and presentation. Uh, I don't want it to rotate, so I'm going to say this is in a uh, portrait. And there's another thing in Xcode that we can click to, but this is the default orientation is always going to be portrait, right? And you can do other things here. Uh, we're going to disable this resolution scaling mode. Um, show loading indicator. We're going to say don't show for right now. You could show that if you want um, <clears throat> while it's loading, but I, I'm not going to put that here. You can play with it if you want. Um, and then you can do the default, the, the bar when it comes in, when it loads onto your um, iPhone. Um, what else? You can you can declare splash images if you want. So right now I'm going to show a splash image and I'm going to show the, well, we have to show the Unity logo because we're in Unity free. If we were, if we had a paid version of Unity, this could go away and we could uncheck the splash screens and, and we could even add our own. Um, I think you can actually, we can add our own right here. You can hit pl the plus symbol and you can dra drag a image in here and that will show after uh, the Unity image. But since we don't have one, I'm just going to, um, um, we're just going to not worry about that for now. And uh, you can do other things here. You can change the background color. I'm going to leave it as is for now. Um, and then again, you can put in other icons there. Uh, let's look at our debug and crash reporting. I usually don't mess with that. Other settings. Um, uh, here, you, you can change some of these settings if you want. One thing you need to do is bundle identifier. It needs to be named. So I'm going to put... And it can be, you know, a made up name, but something that just identifies it with you. Usually for your business, you would want to put your business name in here and your company name. So I'm just going to, for my company, I'm going to put, um, we're going to put my name. I'm just going to do <clears throat> Josh Skelton. And actually I'm going to do Tilted Wheel because I do have a company name. We'll just do that. Tilted Wheel Interactive. And then the product name is going to be called, I'm going to call it UGA app. Okay. And version is 1.0. I always start at 1.0. The build is, it says zero, but I, um, I usually like to have my build the same number as my version. Just I'm weird like that. Um, we're going to automatically sign and then everything else looks good. Minimum iOS version is 7.0. We could even knock that up some if we wanted, but I'll just leave it as that. Um, looks good and we don't have any XR settings, so we're good to go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and build it. <clears throat> We've gone through all of our settings and, oh, we can go right up here to the right and we can put in a default company name if you want. So I'm going to do tilted wheel interactive. All right. Product name is, we're going to not call this right hello world anymore. We're going to call this UGA app and looks like we're good to go and we're going to hit uh, build it's going to ask you what do you want to save it as i'm just going to call it uga underscore app and <clears throat> personally i like to put in the date that i'm doing things so today is may the first so i'm going to put five underscore one underscore 18 and where it's going to save it in our project folder uga underscore app and we're going to hit save And hopefully it doesn't give us any errors. Okay, cool. It looks like everything built fine. You can see in our Unity editor here, down here at the bottom says build completed with a result of succeeded. That's good. Usually you would have errors pop up if it didn't work. And you'll notice that our finder window popped up with our folder with our build in it right here. So let me expand this up a little bit right here. So we're going to open that. And what you are looking for in here is you want to find this Xcode project, right? This dot Xcode project. And we're just going to double click that to open it. And cool. Then we'll click here.
So it, it was having this thing about wanting me to add it to a team. Uh, I'm going to see if this works. If it doesn't, we're going to find another workaround to do this. Okay, so <clears throat> signed in. Uh, now I have my Apple ID. And I've got my um, team there. So we're going to think. Let's go back to Xcode and see if I can do it. Yeah, so now that we do that, I can sign in. I can add my name there. Uh, creating a certificate right here. Um So it says, fail to create a provision of profile that no devices registered to your account on the developer website. Plug in and select a device to have Xcode register it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to plug in my, um, I'm going to plug in my iPad. So if you don't already, uh, get, get a plug, your plug, your charger plug, and you want to plug it in your iPad and then plug it in your USB device. Okay, so right now um, I am I am plugging in the iPad that I have, and now I'm going to plug it in to the computer. And then once it's plugged in, you may have your iPad may say, you know, trust this computer if you've never used it before. Um, your iTunes is going to probably pop up. Um, And then we want to trust. That's when I hit that on the screen, and now I'm going to trust that computer on the iPad. Your iPhone may do the same thing. But now I'm going to close. I really don't want iTunes open, so I'm going to close it. We're going to force quit. Um, and then we're going to go up here. We're going to try again there and see if it will work. Uh, no pro profiles for... Okay, so we got to make some provisioning profiles. There we go. So, guys, what I had to do, you probably saw, I had to, I, 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 I totally forgot about this. This is my bad. But when you plug in your iPad and you do all the trusting things, right here you'll have it, it defaults to generic iOS device, but you have to select. So this is uh, James's iPad. Uh, um, uh, this is the department uh, iPad where I work. So I can. It's called James's, so I can click that and use it, and then that will fix all your issues here. So. Uh, so this is Xcode. So, but looking at this, we there's a few things we want to do. Like I said, you wanted to select the team, and then the rest of it should sort itself out. This here shows your deployment target. And we set this in Unity, but you know, you're in Xcode. You can always set it uh, higher if you wish. We'll leave it at seven now and see if that if we have any issues with it. Uh, we're going to leave that universal. And here, device orientation, we have portrait, uh, but we can. I'm also going to let it do upside down because if the user turns it, they'll they'll still be able to use the app. Not a big deal. So I select that. Now, if you want it to be landscape left or right, you could click that, but it would look weird. You will have to code that up and have that, have Unity kind of take care of that and reposition your screen for you uh, if it got a notification that the screen had been turned to landscape. But we're going to leave those as is. And then, yeah, we're just going to look at it. We're going to try, try this out. So make sure you've got your root here on the top left, have it uh, selected. And then... If you've got everything else selected like we did with the iPad, we're going to hit this play button and we'll start building it. 
and it's when it it's building it it's going to send it to the iPad if everything compiles properly we'll see we might get an error if you do we're, we're going to uh, attack that but so far it looks so good you can see at the top here everything is uh, looking good and as soon as it if it compiles and everything is fine if it, hopefully everything's going to compile and if it does it's going to send this to the iPad and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the iPad uh, when it starts to coming up so right now it's building if you look at the top here you can see that right you can see this building um, okay now code code sign wants to access key in your keychain um, I'm not sure what this password is so we're gonna see um, Let's see. This might be my computer. Yeah, that's just the one for my computer. So now it's installing. So everything compiled properly. It's, and that it says it's running. So we're going to look and see it pop up on the uh, iPad screen here. Uh, oh, okay. We, we had a problem here. It says could not launch to verify that the developer app certificate for your account is trusted on your device open settings so we've got I've got to look on the iPad here so give me a second I'm gonna follow what they say it says go to settings and then we're gonna go to device management no wait a minute. settings navigate to general and then we're going to go to device management There's no device management. Oh, device management. Uh, and then we're going to trust. Yeah, we're going to trust that. Okay. And we've trusted it. And we hit OK. So, um, yeah, so we trusted it. And it, after I trusted it, it showed up right here on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And let's see what happens. There's a splash screen. And there we go. There's our app. Now, look at that. It looks really weird. I mean the menu buttons up there does it work if I click it does this button work nothing's working okay everybody so <clears throat> I kind of walked away for a bit and I thought about what was going on why my our app was looking different on the iPad than it was uh, in the editor and there's one thing that I forgot to do when we first set this whole thing up and if you if you click over here on your on your canvas right here and you look over here on the right